Hi, this is just a quick overview of some of the features and functions of the Danfoss TP5001. To start with, we have a frost protection feature which is activated by pressing the button on the top once and again. This is then displayed with the frost symbol here, which means that the unit is in frost protection mode and is set to 5 degrees. This will also won't allow any of the temperatures to be changed in the unit. We'll then press it again to take it out of frost protection mode and do the same again, but this time with the M button, which will put it into holiday mode. This just sets it to a reduced temperature when on holiday, going out shopping or leaving, just generally leaving the house. We'll then press it again to take it out of holiday mode and hold the M button for approximately 5 seconds to enter the installer settings. This now shows us the type of heating mode that we are in. At the moment it is 5 day 2 day, which means that we have a separate schedule on the Monday to Friday and a separate schedule on the Saturday to Sunday. If we put it in 1, this means it's in manual mode, so that the temperature can just be adjusted as and when and doesn't go off any set timings. Or we can go off 24 hour, which is just a standard timing and temperature for all 7 days of the week. We'll leave this one on 2 at the moment. I'll press the M again and keep going across to setting number 4, which gives us a maximum temperature. We will set this to 22 degrees, which will mean that the unit can't be turned above 22 degrees or overridden to 22 degrees to prevent anyone from adjusting it that maybe shouldn't be able to. Press it again and do the same for a lower temperature, and this time set it to 14 degrees. Again, we'll press the end button to confirm this, and go to the frost protection temperature. We'll leave this at 5 degrees as this is the temperature that this should be at, and go again to the holiday mode so we can set this temperature. Now that we've got all this set up, we will go back to the home screen and just demonstrate what's actually changed. Now, the unit cannot be set below 14 degrees or above the maximum temperature of 22. To reset this and go back to the factory defaults, we'll put it into frost protection mode and hold the button down for approximately 10 seconds to reset the unit. And once the screen goes off, then we can release the button. The unit is still in frost protection mode once reset, so we'll have to take it out. And now we should be able to override the temperature to any of the temperatures we want, and all the settings that we've just adjusted have been reverted back to the factory standards.